Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we will be unboxing, taking a look at, and giving the first initial review of the brand new Google Pixel 6a. We'll do some comparisons versus the Pixel 6 series, as well as the last year model Google Pixel 5a. We'll do some differences and some comparisons, and we'll figure out which device is best for you, especially if you own the Google Pixel 5a, is it now worth the upgrade to the Google Pixel 6a? Now, I do want to give a big thank you to Google for sending off the Google Pixel 6a for not only just the review purposes, but also my personal use. Up here is the Google Pixel 6 Pro. This is the one that I have my eSIM card inside. This is my secondary device. This is also the main driver, the main device that I use for all of my B-roll shots for my YouTube channel. Now, taking a look at the back of the device, you can see that it is not open. So you guys are taking a look at this one for the first time with me as well. The internal storage here is 128 gigs. The color is chalk. And also too, the nice thing I like about this Pixel 6 A series iteration is that this is the first A series to have multiple colors. Normally it's only one color option. This time for the 6A, you do have the options of charcoal, chalk, as well as Sage, but the internal storage and the RAM is the same across all the devices. There's only one option that you have, which is 128 gigs of internal storage with six gigs of RAM. Now opening up this device, it's super easy, super fun to do. Uh, it's very, very satisfying. You just pull these little sleeves down, the little stickers down. So pulling the Pixel 6a out of the box is super simple. It does have a simple pull tab. The front of this device here, the little piece of paper is letting you know where everything is at. So you have your power button. You also have your volume rocker here. USB type C on the bottom. Your SIM tray is right over here on the left hand side. Uh, and then you do have now the in screen fingerprint reader. So this is something that's new for the A series. Normally it is a capacitive fingerprint reader on the back of the phone. You can see right there next to the camera module. And then now it's actually part of in screen, which I do find it to be much more simpler, especially if this is just sitting on a table. This way you don't have to pick up the phone just to unlock it. You're able to just put your thumb right on there and then get this thing unlocked. Now the back of the device looking over here, it does have pretty much the same uh, aesthetics. The whole thing of the six family of the camera bar going across the top. Now, I also did buy that D brand skin that'll make this thing look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. So it's gonna be green all the way here. Then I can change the different colors here of green, uh, purple, orange, red, things like that. So I can make it look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. So it is pretty cool when it comes down to the design. Now it's, it's gonna have a little bit upgraded camera sensors versus the Pixel 5a. It will be a little downgrade of the 6 Pro. And really the main reason is because of price. So as she is turning on, we'll take a look inside of the box. And so what is included is a little dongle. This dongle is a type C dongle. It goes on the bottom of the phone. This is USB type A. So this way, if you have to plug in another phone or plug it into a computer and you want to transfer over content, this is what it's used for. Now, next up will be the charging cable. So this one is type C to type C. There is no brick inside of the box. So you are able to charge the Pixel 6a at 18 watts. There is no wireless charging, but if you are looking for a power station or a power brick that you're able to charge pretty much any of the standards out there. If you're looking for 18 watt, 20 watt, 25 watt, whatever you may be looking for, I'll place a link below the video inside the description. You'll be able to use that charging power station with this cable to charge the Pixel 6a at its maximum rate of 18 watts. And then also too, inside of this box is just going to be a little warranty card, uh, your little quick start guide, then also a SIM card popper. Now I don't use a SIM card in my Pixel devices. So I am a Google Fi customer. So I'll simply just transfer my Google Fi information from the Pixel 6 Pro over into the Google Pixel 6a. So now let's just get this thing started and get it going. So as the Google Pixel 6a is setting everything up, moving content over, let's take a look at all the differences and some of the similarities. And really what you're gonna see is gonna be a lot of differences here on the back. So the capacitive fingerprint reader is now on the in display fingerprint sensor on the Pixel 6a. Also, they moved away from that little squarish camera sensor setup on the top left to the big bar going across. So it kind of fits in with the whole six family, the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. Now take a look at the front of the devices, the Google Pixel 5 does have that camera hole punch on the top left hand side for your selfie camera. The Pixel 6a is set up the same as the Pixel 6 Pro over here. So you will have that center hole punch 
for your selfie camera. You will also maybe notice that the Pixel 6a is actually slightly smaller. So they are going a little bit more compact with this one. So it does have a slightly smaller screen size and also slightly a smaller battery size, but you will probably have a little bit better battery life because it is slightly smaller and it also has the tensor unit that is built in. So the screen size right over here for the Pixel 6a is 6.1. That's a full HD plus and it has up to 60 hertz of refresh rate. The Pixel 5a over here does have a screen of 6.34. So it's slightly smaller going from 6.34 down to 6.1. And then we talked about the battery life or the battery capacity. So the battery capacity on the 5a was rated at 4,680, while the 6a right over here is rated at 4410. So again, slightly smaller screen, slightly smaller battery, but I do think that we'll have the same or better battery life with the 6a, again, because it is smaller screen size as well as the Tensor processor on the inside. So basically taking a look at the whole kit and caboodle of the Google Pixel 6a, this one has a really nice price tag. It's priced at $450. You do have three different colors you can choose from this time instead of just the one. You have charcoal, you have chalk, you also have sage. The screen size is a 6.1 inch display. It's a full HD plus display up to 60 Hertz refresh rate. Now on the back of the device, you will have a 12.2 megapixel wide lens. Now this one has a field of view at 114 degrees. Now the Pixel 5a was at 117 degrees, but I don't think you're gonna really see a big difference unless if you go really side by side and you do comparison videos. You do have that IP67, so it is dust proof water resistant. There is wired charging only with this one. It Again, up to 18 watts. There is no wireless charging. You will have six gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of internal storage, and that is across all of the Pixel 6a options. Now, piggybacking off of what I mentioned from before, if you were wishing that there was a mini version of the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro, this is what you're getting. This is what you're looking at. This is the Pixel 6a. Also, too, when you compare the fingerprint reader, so this one does have that in-screen fingerprint reader that is built into the display here of the Pixel 6a. Originally, you were using the capacitive button on the back of the Pixel 5a. Now, really, the biggest people who will be purchasing the Pixel 6a here is going to be those who have that price and battery life in mind. And so right here, you will be taking a look at this one, which should have about 24 hours or more than 24 hours underneath the hood. And also the price is at $450. Now you will actually have the upgraded camera modes inside of here, even though it's not the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro, you will have your real tone as well as the face unblur and manual white balancing. And then the uh, battery capacity in here is gonna be 4,410 milliamp hours versus what it used to be in the 5A, which was 4680. Now talking about that all day battery life, this one can probably simply easily get you that 24 hours. So you get a full day usage with this battery life here. You can probably get all the way up to 72 hours with that battery saving power mode. Also too, this one is coming off and running with Android 12. I do have my eSIM. I do have Google Fi onloaded and onboarded already. It's all set up. So I'm super excited to make some phone calls, play with the camera and get used to this. Also one thing I am noticing is when you first go inside of your application tray right here, your keyboard pops up instantly all you have to do is if you do want to change that you can just hit on the hit on those little three dots on the top right hand side and you can hit that always hide keyboard so this way when you do open up you can actually go through and actually open up an application rather than going through and searching for your phone or through your phone if you do need to search simply tap it and then there your keyboard is popping up now I did go through and I transferred all of my content over and also my Google Fi service from the Google Pixel 6 Pro over to the Google Pixel 6a. It was actually very simple and easy to do. Really all I did was once I turned on the Google Pixel 6a, then I was going through the setup process on the Google Pixel 6 Pro, it notified me that I could set up the Google Pixel 6a. And that was all I did. I tapped on that notification. It brought me to these screens here, and then this is me just transferring everything over. So this is where I chose everything to move over from the applications, photos, videos, the music, SMS, text messages, the MMS attachments inside of those messages, things like that. This is one of those things that is like, you know, less worrisome. It's one of those things that sometimes when you transfer from a phone to a phone to a phone, sometimes you just hate the setup process going through everything and getting it set up the way that you just had your past phone. So I'm also able to transfer over the way that my phone was set up and the way that everything looks. So this just makes it one less thing to worry about and super simple to transfer and move on to a new device. 
Now, after holding on to the Pixel 6a, I do kind of wish it was a little bit larger. Now, this phone already feels premium. It feels much better than what the 5a did. The 5a felt like a mid-range phone. It felt plasticky and cheap. This one does feel really good. It has the same materials used as the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Those things are premium devices, but the size is a little bit too small for me. Now, I'm 5'10". I'm not the biggest guy in the world. I don't have the biggest hands in the world. They are large enough to the fact that this 6.1 inch display does feel a little bit smaller. So if this one had the larger screen size of a 6.34, if they would have kept that size, I feel like this one would have performed a little bit better in my hands at least. Again, my initial review, uh, I love the premium feel, but I wish it was just a little bit larger. So that was everything that I wanted to talk about with the Pixel 6a right here. This one is going to be one of those who do have that battery life and price in mind. You did maybe want to have a mini version of the Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro. Here you go. I'm stoked to have it. Again, thank you for Google for sending this off. This one is the initial review, giving a few comparisons of the Pixel 6 Pro, the Pixel 6, as well as the Google Pixel 5a from last year. So I pretty much wanted to cover everything I did want to cover in this video. Stay tuned for the next video where I go a little bit more in depth and, and a little bit more of the usage of the 6a itself. I'll talk about the battery life, the camera, and everything else, but hopefully you guys appreciated the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you appreciate this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later.